color, shape, and consistency. What you should know. Poop's color can be a helpful signal about what's going on within our body. Yellow. Greasy, stinky, yellow stool is typically a sign of too much fat. This could also be a direct relation to a malabsorption disorder like celiac disease, where your body isn't absorbing enough nutrients. Red. Red poop can mean bleeding, either due to hemorrhoids, or to bleeding in the lower intestinal tract. Foods like beets, cranberries, red gelatin, or tomato juice can turn poop red too. Pale, white, or clay-colored. If your poop is a chalky light shade, it probably means you're lacking bile. Bile is a digestive fluid that comes from your liver and gallbladder. So if you're producing white stool, it probably means your duct is blocked. Pale poop could also be a side effect of certain medications, like anti-diarrhea medicine. Either way, if it continues, you should probably consult a doctor. Black. If you've had licorice, iron supplements, or bismuth medications, such as Pepto-Bismol, that could be the explanation behind black stool. If you haven't had any of that, black poop could be a sign of bleeding in the upper gastrointestinal tract. It may seem like red would be a more likely color for this sort of concern, but since it's taken a while to travel down, it's older, and therefore darker. Super green. Hints of green are actually quite normal. But when it's pretty much turned from brown to full green, it means one of two things, either you've added lots of green foods like spinach to your diet, or your stool's passing through you too fast. When it doesn't pick up as much of the brown tinting bilirubin, it has more bile salts that turn it this color. A little green is quite normal and you're okay. Brown. Any varying shades of brown are what's considered the norm. Now let's look at the shape and consistency, and what does it mean based on the Bristol stool scale? It's broken up into seven categories based on a 2,000-person study trusted source, and it makes poop knowledge basic and easy to understand. Type 1, they look like marbles or nuts. They are hard and separate little lumps that look like nuts and are hard to pass. These little pellets typically mean you're constipated. Type 2, like a caterpillar. They are log-shaped but lumpy. This indicates mild constipation. Type 3, looks like hot dog. It's log-shaped with some cracks on the surface. This is the gold standard of poop, especially if it's somewhat soft and easy to pass. Type 4 looks like snake. It's smooth and snake-like. Doctors also consider this a normal poop that should happen every one to three days. Type 5 like amoeba. These are small, like the first ones, but soft and easy to pass. The blobs also have clear-cut edges. This type of poop means you are lacking fiber and should find ways to add some to your diet through cereal or vegetables. Type 6 like soft serve. It's fluffy and mushy with ragged edges. This too soft consistency could be a sign of mild diarrhea. Try drinking more water and fruit juice to help improve this. Type 7 looking like Jackson Pollock's abstract paintings. It's completely watery with no solid pieces. You've got diarrhea. This means your stool moved through your bowels very quickly and didn't form into a healthy poop. I hope you found this video interesting. I have added in the description the link to find more details. Thank you for your time. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like the video.